problem I am a little worried about uh, for them is FNG getting farmed because Slardar doesn't need a whole lot, but he is their primary initiator, right? They don't have anyone else who has a reliable catch aside from the glimpse for a single target, and he, he's just roaming right now, not CSing or pulling at all. Gonna move in here though. They find the crush. Our men getting caught out. Iceberg there with the clap. Good body blocking. Gareth looks like the first blood. One more hit. Yeah, I've got him. They're just so squishy. They really wanted Dendi, but he did a, a few little sort of micro moves to dodge out from Earthshock to get himself away from that Slado who was waiting on, on top of the ramp for him. So they give the last rank, but they keep Dendi alive with a DS like this. Sure, Pycat's going to have that, you know, kind of jump into the mid game with his great farm, and they're going to have General to carry him around. But with a counter initiation from Darkseer, uh -oh. always available. It's scary. They, they, the three hero rotation mid, they can't even kill the Ursa. And, you know, that's the difference between Ursa and Shadow Fiend, right? Like, if, if that's a Shadow Fiend getting caught mid, he's dead, but Ursa just able to soak up that damage and walk away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, three yeah. and a half second cooldown on Earthshock's pretty good, I heard. Yeah, looking for more as they're going to dive by for the Ogre. McGee under the tower. He'll go down to a quick double kill. Bryceberg, and again, it just it goes back to what we said as soon as the draft did. Like, Spirit is going to run at you. What are you going to do about it? And the answer, apparently, so far for Navi is not a whole lot. Just sit back and take it. I mean, you could carry a TP, and in some cases that might let you get away, but Dendi TPing in mid, he's going to miss a raise, he gets glimpsed back, that leaves Viper alone, but likely goes down again here, Iceberg whiffing on his clap, but it's not going to matter, should be able to run him down. The bear already grabbing, I believe that's his third, third kill of kill. the game. 3-0-1. That's your fate. Very, very poor at rotating to lanes and making things happen, or stopping things from you know, what Spirit are doing. Oh, That's FNG might find a solo kill here on RMN, who is out of mana, and that indeed is the case. All right, Slardar heating up. Well, I mentioned maybe struggling for levels. Gareth, he is the one hero who needs to have a big impact, unable to do so, and now they might look to pincer Dendi in the mid lane. So the more I think and look at this Navi draft, the weirder it gets, right? They've got, they've got very little catch and kill. Sure, when Batrider gets Blink, they can lasso someone in, but they don't have any great nuke damage to instantly take out a target. So maybe they can find the Weaver here. Would be a nice pickoff, nice. and finally Navi get on the board on this top lane. Two and five. Uh, two, two, five, I should say, the score. Cool. Oh, oh as dear. you say that. Hello, Shadow Friend. I'll give you a hug. TPs are coming in. Might get a kill here on Vine score though. Dendi manning uh, up, but what? if they can get the Shadow Fiend kill, it's well worth it anyway. A two hero crush. Pycat slow in the rage. Iceberg could maybe try and fight him. Worried about additional reinforcements. Oh, he's going to cancel that TP. I think Navi are in a good position if they're the ones being initiated on. Oh, they want to punish FNG for constantly infesting this woods. Flame breaking him back. It's not quite enough for the kill. In fact, Iceberg wanting to go into the tower. A bold move considering Lasso is ready. He'll be punished for it. Not sure if he thought it got dropped earlier in the top mm. lane. But it, it's stuff like that. That they can actually create enough chaos in a team fight to maybe find a f find an initial pick before Spirit can do anything. Oh man. Oh, Lashrak is so weak. Oh, he still gets the kill. That's oh. brutal. Lashrak down again. It's a, it's a squishy support. One kidnap them and not just have it broken immediately so better to be tankier able to stay in the fights longer and run away faster yeah <laughs> that too here comes the big fight in the mid lane static storm getting dropped they have managed to cage the life stealer could be trouble as the vacuum back comes they look to for the turn iceberg low but not finished off still holds the aegis though and they can continue pursuit here fng threatening to go in a bit deeper they cage dendy now they look for the crush there it goes the follow-up damage coming through but a great two hero stun by the lash might be enough to salvage this fight the wall still forcing navi back they're gonna try and kidnap dk phobos fng gets dragged to deeper and there's the crush looking for a bit more he finds the shadow feet kill yet again pycat on the chase open wounds there he's looking for backup he's gonna find it in the form of an agent's getting popped and now the weaver getting a bit over eager as the time lapse back towards safety iceberg still looking for that fight he might come out of the trees but pycat armlet toggling for all he's worth trying to bait that bear in the hey, want, weaver. want some honey want some honey <laughs> yeah bear 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 but they will in the end end up disengaging so they lose the aegis they lose the slardar they get two though and again the shadow fiend dying he's only at 18 souls he's just not having i think our man might die top bzz has the trap been set oh nice stun but do they have to follow up Looks like they might do. One more hit. Oh, he's oh, infest. 
Barely had him. Uh, that was with the Dragonlance pickup, so a crucial kill for Navi. That's something they they need to get a little more of, because once that Blake comes out from Flardar, next round of aggression will be there. Phobos, though, caught off nice. on an island here, will be punished and picked off as FNG comes in a bit late. Now the Troll Trap. It is that Dominator build. It's initially here on the Dark Seer, now going to be going back for a mech. Yeah, it's so good. The Dummy allows you to kind of split push and shove waves without putting your hero into danger. Well, uh, <laughs> unless you want to. In this case, Dendi though trying to rev up the Requiem, but the Static Storm gets dropped. That's going to prevent things. Bang score. Now trying to retreat the rest of the team in a bit of trouble. A predicament developing is Navi. Oh, there you go. They turn on the Shadow Fiend. They'll pop him like a pinata. Turning on the general. Iceberg trying to pound down this bat, but he's hard to chase. BZZ. I'm no, lapsed not in one. one. And he's not going to use it just yet. He would be quite low if he time lapsed. Oh, my God. And now baits him. Goes the other direction down to the south. Doesn't have a TP. Scrolly winds his way through the trees. Where's he going? But Shrek has the vision. The flame break's going to connect. And BZZ. It's not perfect this day. He will go down too. Four kills, Navi. Team fighting their way back into it. Four for one, Navi. I mean, Dendi managed to get out of the Static Storm, launch out his Requiem, got a couple of good raises down, and that. Was now trying to turn and run away. The swarm allows the disengage. That is where that's where the drums first makes a lot of sense. But now he's gonna find the follow-up blast. So onto the Weaver, who gets completely chased, stunned, brought down, stuck around a bit too long. Might be able to kill a bank score as well. Pycat oh. mauling him. Spirit get there in time, they have the high ground. This is so risky. Moving in, they're gonna stun Ursa to start things off of Phobos with a big blink reveal. The Static Storm gets layered right around the area. It will completely control Pycat, bring him down, but Dendi quickly able to unwind with the Requiem, finds one, looking for a second, will lay out Iceberg, and now potentially a third hero as well. Three Navi heroes hitting the deck. The Ursa though down, and after the buyback, Team Scat with the free fountain trip. Drumroll to the rescue. They need this Roshan now, like desperately need it. I don't know if Pycat wants to go in and hit it because they want the fight to start. And General, Lasso's back one, but FNG's there with a crush and now Iron Shell burning through them. DK Phobos, what are you doing? Back and back into the kinetic field and this is time to retreat for Na'Vi, I think. Oh, BZZ, he is actually stunned and the damage from Leshrac might be enough to finish him off. BZZ dropping lower and lower, but he's got the Shikuchi. Slips himself back away from the trees. Yeah, they knew there was no static storm there. Darkseer wall on cooldown. Ursa only just respawned cool damage, which... Spirit are pretty, I wouldn't say all in on, but very predominantly relying on is FNG will find General looking for a pickup. There's the counter initiation though. RMN coming in with the stun. The static storm gets layered on top of it all. Kinetic field there, but nobody really caged with them. Is Pycat mauling the disruptor. We'll find the quick kill with the infest at the end to polish it off. And now Navi should be able to take this tower. And they might even be able to go high ground here. That's vacuum wall gone. No static storm. Ursa. Can't really do this. He can't clear waves, and that's something Spirit are really severely lacking. And they didn't really commit anything. They actually didn't even get the lasso no. off of that fight. So Navi have the BKB on Dendi. They have the lasso. There's no cliff. This is a disaster for Team Spirit. A couple oh, of, a couple no. of magnificent fights from Spirit, uh, who do have the eggs on Iceberg, True. so not a great lasso target. But hey. He's not defending buildings, he's going to try to make his move in. Pycat focusing him, gets multicast. The general now letting the lasso go after he sees the Ursa dropping low. They'll finish him off. Pycat able to work together with Dandy and, Dandy and Tandem to bring FNG oh, low yes. to finish off bank score. One more auto tech fights as he would like. And, and plus Navi are five manning. That's not really where Weaver excels. Weaver wants these small isolated skirmishes, but hold that thought because... Here comes Team Spirit looking for the vacuum. Dendi gets caught, but he's able to BKB immediately. Static Storm dropped down, but they just walk away from it. At least for the time being, the Requiem over the top is Pycat. Surges in. Iceberg running for dear life. Fuzzy Wuzzy on full retreat mode. Navi run him down. They'll kill off the bear. They look for a fourth hero. It might well be Mr. BZZ. Lincoln's now broken. They get the lasso. The fourth kill of the fight. And Spirit completely on their heels. One lane of of racks down potentially. Megas, 30 minutes in. I don't think Spirit have any way to deal with this. Looking for the last stand fight at this point. Spirit will do what they can, but it's not a whole lot. FNG gets stunned as he jumps in. He dies immediately. Iceberg desperately trying to kill off Dendi, but it just doesn't seem possible. Iceberg stands next to Pycat, can't withstand the Lifestealer punishment. Shadow Fiend also laying into him. They'll find the kill there and insta GG. Navi just too strong a team fight down the stretch and putting themselves at a 1-0 advantage in this best of three. Uh, it could be a long day for them. If they win this series, they then have to go on to play Empire. I think they hit that on three heroes. That's an instantly won fight. 
uh, didn't quite happen that way. Um, but to me, like, their execution just wasn't there in the mid-game team fights. Whereas Navi, uh, Lady Sage didn't go well, but the shot calling come mid-game, traditionally their their weak spot was very good this game. It was pretty damn crisp. Yeah, honestly, PyCount has you know, given them given them a breath of fresh air in that department. But I almost feel like that Roshan fight, whoever got that Aegis was likely to win the game just because of how Team Spirit could snowball from it and how Na'Vi sort of... Yeah, like C9 runs the mid brood, but that's just a baby knight special. That's like completely out of the ordinary. See, the thing about the brood though is now it puts Dendi in a really tough spot, right? Because... That's a killing brood. DK4 boss is dead, actually. Oh. The sentry into dust into triple stun from Na'Vi. So they get the kill. Uh, the thing is, uh, if you catch the brood itself on her own, it can be nice, but uh, not worth the risk. Rarely going to happen. Yeah. It does have an early pair of arcane boots, though, and that will help a lot. You can see FNG hanging out near the bottom lane. Actually, they're also going to move in Vine Score. They want to make a play with this heal bomb. Our man caged and in a lot of trouble. Yeah, FNG? So dead clockwork, but maybe. Uh, a dead Bend as well. It'll be both going down. So honestly, trading not too bad. But what you got to worry about is this army of spider. He's just not doing anything. I mean, the trouble is, you know, like like we're kind of saying in the draft, Slada is going to get his levels. He's going to get his farm somehow. While Clockwork, uh -oh. he's not going to get level three this way. Killed off by the SF. Oh, thank you for the souls, says Dendi. And now, thirty souls, twenty-four and thirteen mid. Oh, BZZ move in this area. General now. Gonna scout him out. The hunter becomes the hunted. Should be an easy kill. No black oh, hole. Is this just gonna yet. be a big black hole, actually. Oh, he didn't cancel his TP. FNG walking right into the split earth. That's a two for the price of one special for Navi. Oh, oh, FNG. All right. Yeah, it's Bloodstone time. He's gonna have, like, they smoke. They're gonna head on to Iceberg mid. Might lose some efficiency here as that might is coming off cooldown soon. There's the swap into the crush, into the Malefice. And won't even get a self astral off. That was that was honestly great chaining. I was wondering if they had the ability to chain stun him before he can astral. Uh, you know, maybe with a TP from Dazzle coming into grave, there's an, uh, there's an opportunity there for Spirit to save their OD. But the swap into into Malefice and Crush, and then Magic Missile to follow through was perfect from them. Troll. He's graved up, but the, where does he go? Where does he run? He's just chain stunned into oblivion, and one more hit is all they need to finish him off, and that's it. The Pulse Nova finds it. While well, in the back line, Van Score is being chased by Biver. And Dendi just raising them down. That's three for nothing. Oh, not not be just clearing styling up. on Spirit. This is going to be a quick series and uh, maybe short in the overall. There's a force out. There's a mech to heal whoever's trapped there. Like the, These were Team Spirit heroes that were meant to smash their lanes and snowball into you know taking Roshan, kind of similar to game one. Uh-oh. Uh, did he just hookshot a creep? Uh, barely missing there, was aiming for Biver, but I, I don't know if he wanted to hit that hook, might have died as our men and general combining here in the jungle gonna find BZZ, they'll pick him off as well, Navi collecting yet another kill, you can see Dendi with his shadow Oh, blade. hello. Oh, might get caught though, Phobos, debuting the Orchid, this is a big dive though, I don't think he can kill the Shadow Fiend in time, he's gonna try for it, not quite enough damage, now the turnaround comes, the heal into that black hole, forcing Denny back, but the crush onto the Dazzle could kill him off before he gets the self-grave. We'll barely manage to secure it. Goes for the TP out. Will we get a bash? Doesn't have the point in it yet. Ends up making it out, but at the expense of his brood. Not so lucky. Great decision making from Slaughter. His crush was coming off cooldown and could have crushed the Dazzle at the very end of that. Stronger and stronger. They're going for another kill on the troll. BZZ off way too far. Say hello to Dendi. Kaboom! Finds him with the Requiem. Does get the bash, but he's going to need like 15 more to even have a chance at a kill. So only, fi only 15? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> behind the Enigma. He's a good 2,000 behind anyone else. And then you've got Dendi and Pycat sitting on 8k at the top. It's, it's a hook bottom. Just narrowly missing on Dendi. The luck just not going their way, but Iceberg going to dive Dendi deep behind his tier 2 tower. Desperate to get a kill on the board. We'll find that kill. And now... Maybe gonna look for more though. Minute there. Hookshot cooling down though. FNG gonna die for another one. Might be able to find General. There's the hook. It's a direct connection. Then the cogs to follow up. Navi getting sloppy. Starting to hemorrhage kills. And this bottom lane is a no go zone, Gareth. At least yeah. for this stage. Like they do not it's have the ability to. It's available for whatever reason. You're probably dead as the Shadow Fiend. Like their five man is so massively superior. Oh. Slaughter? Well, you say that, but. They're not five many right now. Oh. Is Viber gonna go down to the the soul burn from the orchid? 
Another big pick for K-Spirit. I'm really surprised Navi keep on going here. Guys, don't go. <laughs> don't step here. It's not safe, but FNG overextends. He'll get picked off. And Spirit will have to back away at least for the time being. And if you're going to go bottom, you need to do it with the whole team. And that's what they're trying. What? He charges in. He does have Aegis round two. He'll come back soon. They have a black hole ready. Will they get the chance to use it? General trying to move back into the fray. Pycat forcing a way to safety. And now it's suddenly the OD trapped in an awkward position. He's already committed his Hurricane Pike. He's going to self Astral. And it looks like he will be going down. Requiem perfectly timed with that. This will be forced away. Pycat died so quickly. That for the troll, though, I feel like we haven't seen really anything out of BZZ. Mostly just trying to farm this top lane. 0 and 4. He just got ganked over and over again. Aramen right, is caught. He turns to fight, though. It's OD from the high ground, stunned up with a dazzle next to him. But Aramen right, finds the kill before dying and doesn't even die himself. The razors come through, and Navi, 3 for 1. Finally, Phobos pops the venge in the back end, but. Dendi's here to clear up spoilings with Pycat. Oh, they got Phobos as well. Scouted out for the moment. Crush comes through. Another pick off. That's four dead for Navi. Strength in numbers for this team fight lineup. And Honestly, they're fi like the mobility items. Shadowblade kind of doubles up as a split push item as well if he needs it to be. And the magic community against initiations. Troll is just not a hero, huh? Killed by oh, two supports not again. In this game. Yeah, RMN does get hooked here. They're going to try and. Pound him down from distance with the OD. They've got, I think, triple force F now, or... Yeah. yeah, triple force coming out. Spirit have sentries, but they don't see Dendi coming in. The pebble thrown, but the grave is there in time from Vanscore, and he TP's out. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. With the Solana coming in to crush him up. I, I nice think you go high ground now. This is the potentially lane of Rack. Spirit. Can have a Spirit. Need to muster a defense. FNG hook cooling down in three, but he's just hooking into certain death, and while he's hesitating, BZZ is caught. Swapped. Astral defensively used, but they're going to drop the Midnight Pulse. They blow oh him up. God. Pie Cat just nuking him to smithereens. And now, straight onto the top lane. This is looking like two. Rosing Gold short. Range Rack's down. Navi straight onto the melee. This could be the second lane. Spirit just not showing any signs of a head on engagement. And while they hesitate, Viper finds the opening. But the hook's there to counter. And FNG sacrificing his life for the cause. But how much good will it actually do? He's down immediately. And then General from behind finds two. Line him up. Knock him down. Navi stay alive they've got a date with empire as they crush their way through spirit here in game number two general black holes two full hp heroes dendy just rolls up and slaps them down one hit each and they're gone didn't even need the requiem didn't even need the requiem hey, yeah, my yeah, yeah. goodness I, I, again it was one of these things where navi realized where their weakness was and they adapted and changed things up very very quickly it's it's kind of refreshing pick the brute they're like this is a core venge they have no counter for Brood. We've won. We basically win the lanes. The game's over. Uh, and if they all, if they try to deal with the Brood, we're definitely going to win the mid lane uh, because you've got an OD versus Shadow Fiend. That should be a very comfortable matchup. Uh, Clockwork can run around, set up kills. We've got the heal bomb with the spider lanes. Troll should do fine in the in the safe lane against uh, an Enigma. None of that happened because the Core Leshrac came out and it completely caught them off guard. Twenty-seven to five.